morning everyone I was uh well actually it's a uh, early afternoon right now I wasn't going to record today but I got bored and I wanted to go fishing and the bite seems to be pretty good I'm still at this one place this seems to be like the money place there's so many fish gathering here I don't really have the need to go anywhere else I just uh, came back to the car grabbed my camera and my jerk bait or a jerk bait whoa a little spinning rod here, so let's uh, see what we can do. I did catch one really nice one that I wish I could have gotten on camera. That's okay, there'll be more. Seems to be wanting it pretty fast today as well. There we go. There's one. Oh, that's a good one. I'm doing this is straight eight pound fluorocarbon here. It's not that big of a fish, but it's a decent one. That's awesome. <laughs> it's my first cat. Oh, wow, there's another. Wow, there's another bass. I was just smacking him trying to get the jerk bait. It was bigger, too. That's cool. He was right under the dock here, right under me. That fish got hooked in the eye. That sucks. All right, come here, bud. I didn't even, he didn't even bite the bait. Well, it didn't get into his eye, so that's good. But yeah, another fish came out under the dock all of a sudden and just whacked him. Cool. First cast with a jerk bait. That's a good sign. The way I was catching him before was actually, I was taking this Texas rig here and I was, I was flipping it around. And then one time I made a bad cast and I started, I reeled it up really quickly and I just got slammed by like a three pounder. And uh, so, then I started repeating that, just reeling this thing pretty fast, and I uh, started catching more fish. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Let's see if it's still. Oh boy, my uh, brake on my reel is set too light. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, never mind. That was grass. Just working it, dragging it. There we go. Just dragging it along the bottom, really quickly. Another one. Wow. All right. All right, all right, all right. It's okay. Interesting way to use a Texas rig. I guess I could replace this with a swim jig or something, but it's what I had on and it's working. So I'm gonna keep it. There we go. <laughs> Finally got one. A little school of various panfish here, and uh, finally hooked one. The uh, plus side of using a drop shot hook in the nose is they'll go for the head, quote unquote, and you can actually hook them, which you can't do with like a Texas rig hook. Which is pretty cool. That's a that's a decent sized panfish actually. See you later. All there is to it is bait hook. Boop. There you go. And there's no weeds around. That's probably the best way to weightless rig a soft stick bait. It's because the fish will go for the head anyways. And you'll tend to hook them deeper. Oh, there's a fish right there. Yep, that's a bass. That's a good one too. He's running right at me. All right. Yeah, that's a good one. A couple pounds. Yeah. Wow. Fish hit right away. Come on in here. Looked bigger than it is. Oh, there we go. That hook set right there in the corner of the mouth. That little drop shot hook. It's not a bad one at all. See you later. Yep, wind picked up and I grabbed a spinnerbait. Feels pretty heavy, it's not really fighting hard. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, not bad. Come on in here. There we go. Yep, you wanted it for sure. 
another one. Next cast in, different place, but this one feels heavier. Yeah, this, this one feels good. This is a good fish. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a better fish for sure. Holy crap, yeah, this is the biggest one of the year so far. If I can get him in on the spinnerbait. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a good one, good large mouth. Is he good? Oh yeah, come on in. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's a chunk. That's just a straight chunk right there. Easily three, this thing might be four, might be pushing four. I wish I had a scale on me. I do have one, but it's in my car, which is over there, and this guy's gonna go back in the water quickly, so I'm not gonna weigh him, but look at that belly. He's got some weird discolorations too. That's a chunk right there. Man, that was, that was fun. Let's let this big and go. She wants to go? All right. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I'm gonna go grab my scale now in case I catch another one like that. Oh, there's another one. Now they're good. This one's pulling hard too. Doesn't feel quite as heavy. I'm not sure though. It's fighting pretty good. Oh no, he's coming in. There we go. Man, he actually pulled a lot harder than you'd expect for a fish this size. Cool. Get out of there, hook. See you later. Oh wow, I was really up to take another cast. Oh, this is a good one actually. This is a pretty good fish. I was really up to take another cast and this one hit it. Oh, that's another good one. Come on. Ooh, yeah. That's another like above average sized fish. That's a good one. On a Texas rig that was dragging on the ground. Let's weigh that one. Why not? We've got the scale, I grabbed it after that last fish. So let's see, I'm just curious. That one's three on the dot right there. So your average here is about two, two and a half. That's a, that's a solid three pounder right there. Big belly on it. They're getting ready for the spawn. This is fun. That's a nice fish. I'm really happy about that one. See you later. I think it's spinnerbait time. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> the wind picked up and I thought it was time for a spinnerbait, but something big just bit me. Is it another pickerel? Nope, it's a largemouth. Right there. Another good fish. That's interesting. I'll put this guy back. Talk to you for a second. It was, you know, spinnerbait bite was not amazing, but I've been using this and swimming it. It's got these little appendages that flap, and for some reason it's been working really well. That's a fish. That's a good one. Another good one. Not as big as I thought? Question mark? Yeah. Just, a, just an average guy. Always fun though. On the, uh, the old Texas rig. He's got it. Large mouth. Come down. That's a good, good one right there. 